Hey, Nikki Hardin, psychic medium, spiritual transformational coach and leader and the formulator of 21 Cleanse, my therapeutic grade detox. So today I wanna to talk to you about overcorrection, perfection and protection. I'm seeing this so much in both my coaching practice and in my detox cleansers. So I wanna really share this from, um, from my heart to you so that you can avoid these patterns that I'm seeing over and over. And the first, I wanna start by talking about this, uh, this overcorrection pattern. What do I mean by that? So overcorrection is, let's say, Typically, most of the people that I work with, they come to me and they have some sense of tools of, of changing their thoughts and knowing that changing their thoughts can take them in the direction of their goals. They also understand that they wanna change their emotions, right? And you have tools, but what I'm seeing continually is that there's this standard of perfection that's leading to a pattern of over-perfection. Overcorrection, excuse me. And so what do I mean by that? So I have this client, we'll call her Betty, right? And Betty has been repeating patterns over and over. She's done a lot of different kind of trainings, but she's finding that she's still kind of stuck and she's not making progress in certain different paths in her area and in, in her life. So as we've been going through our coaching, what I'm seeing consistently in our time together is that she is continually in this state because she has some sense of awareness. She's continually like monitoring every single thought, every single feeling, every single action that she has. So what does that look like? A thought comes in and she thinks, oh, I don't want to think that. That's, that's not the right thought. And so she's trying to correct it. She's trying to upgrade it, thinking what is a better thought I can have to that? Or let's say she has an emotion and it's not one that she really wants to feel or that she feels proud of feeling, or it's not, you know, being in that super high vibe state that's super being blasted in front of all of us today. So she's continually like, oh, well, I gotta change this feeling. Oh, I have to change this thought. Oh, I have to change this feeling. Well, this is almost creating this new cycle of behavior where she's continually in this pattern of self-criticism and denying herself the experience of being human, the just the authentic experience that she's having. So this is leading her down these cycles where there's an illusion of perfection, there's an illusion that it can be better, and oftentimes that's a way of the ego trying to protect itself to stay small because typically what that will lead to is depression, anxiety, uh, low self-esteem, paralysis, be, paralysis by analysis, because she's under continual analysis, she'd rather not do anything to change her life than to actually do something because then she'd just be monitoring and attacking herself and telling her that it's wrong. We must have visitors. That's not dull in my life. So anyways, apparently we worked up some energy in that one. <laughs> we had to clear it out. I love that. So, so this cycle of continually making herself wrong and not allowing herself to feel her feelings, not allowing herself to have the thoughts that she's having is actually um, repeating. It's, it's like taking her back into that childhood pattern where her parents were doing the same thing to her, right? So they were telling her, oh, you can't feel that, or oh, don't cry, or that's not a nice thing to say or to think, or you shouldn't do that. And so that's how these original misbeliefs, judgments, the pain, the hurt, the, the illusions of reality, that's how all of this got started. So I love working with her because I can spot it, and together we just slow it down. Right? We just slow it down and we can unravel it. And it's really about moving into a place of authenticity and self-love where she can then just allow herself to have the thought without the judgment. Allow herself to have the feeling without judgment or trying to make it wrong or sending her into some kind of a, a correction pattern. Allowing herself to have these things because let's be real none of it really makes sense, right? A lot of these, like the feelings, the thoughts, all of this, like being human doesn't make sense, right? So we just, if we can just allow ourselves the humanness, 
Then we return to that place of centeredness, of peace, where you can actually make progress. So this is what we're doing in Betty's life to, to really unravel it, help her move to that place of centeredness, calm inside of herself, self-love, the place where there's no judgment, and she has the freedom to create a new foundation, to make new choices and create success. So that's how it's manifesting in my spiritual business with my coaching clients. And I see it in readings too, but that's not where we're doing the unraveling, right? Um, that's more in a long term with the coaching. So when I'm working with my detoxers, my cleansers, and we are getting them started, I see it over and over that they're, they're so caught up in this illusion of perfection, doing the program 100% right. They got to have everything right. They got to get everything right. And then not only while they're on the detox, but also after, right? Like a lot of times they'll get pent up on, well, I have to make sure I can be able to do this afterwards. Well, what that often leads to is again, they're in this state of good, bad, right, wrong, perfection, the illusion of perfection. Like life will happen and you'll have to learn how to navigate it. And, and the fact is, is that when you're not in that place of criticizing yourself and putting all of this pressure on yourself and and by the way, when you're constantly criticizing yourself and putting all this pressure on yourself, typically what happens is you won't even start anything. You won't even put your shoes on and tie your shoes so that you can at least get out the door to run the race because you're so worried about doing it correctly, right? So it's all about slowing it down, taking the judgment out, just allowing yourself to be human, have that experience. And so with my detoxers, what we do is it's just, okay, you're exhausted, you're depleted, you're stressed out, you're anxious, you're depressed, you're not yourself. And this, what you've been doing has been taking you this, this way, away from what I always, left is the past, right is where we wanna go towards the future, towards progress. So we just say, start with day one. <laughs> just start with day one. Just get your kit, read through it, get going. And you know what? Then take day two, and then take day three, one day at a time. So you're at least getting yourself out of these vicious patterns of behavior and these thought cycles and connecting back with this place of authenticity, being true to yourself, taking care of yourself, and doing what's right for you. Because let's be real, we're all here because we're here to fly, to progress, to experience success, to live our purpose, to be happy, to be positive, to be joyful. And we can only do that when we allow ourselves to also have our humanness and not judge it. So I hope you found that helpful. If you're feeling stuck, if you see yourself repeating patterns, if you have something big in your life you're trying to accomplish and need support because you know that the emotions are gonna, the stakes are rising, uh, please feel free to reach me on my website, NikkiHarden.com and book a call and we'll just get you taken care of. And the same goes uh, if you're looking to detox and you've been thinking about detoxing for a really long time or know you need to do something because you have all these mystery elements and no energy. You don't have to live like that. You can take care of yourself and it's easy. So you can find me on my website, NikkiHarden.com. I'm here to help. And if you found this video helpful, I really hope so. Feel free to subscribe and leave a comment. So have a great day and be well.